Under the theme, hepatitis B does not discriminate, neither should you. The Ministry of Health has spearheaded a walk to raise awareness against hepatitis B, a virus which about 3.5 million Ugandans are carrying, yet most are not aware that they have it. Actually, what is new is the information which is sensitization which is going and the testing. So people are testing and they're finding themselves positive. It's not that there is an increase of hepatitis B in northern part of Uganda, but it's the increase of testing and therefore identification of those who have actually been infected for a very long time. Dr. Punsiano Uchama, an expert in the country on hepatitis B, says that most victims are probably at tender age when their body has no immunity against the virus. By five years, it is at its maximum. So when you get exposed to the virus when you are younger than five years of age, the virus tends to remain in your body for the rest of your life. And that occurs in 90 to 95 percent of children who get infected at birth or soon thereafter. According to statistics, about 90 to 95 percent of those who get it above five years of age, the body can easily fend off the infection and develop a permanent immunity. But that means <clears throat> there's about five to ten percent of those who get it when they are older than five years who may still not be able to clear it. But these are also usually people who have some immune-related issues. The main mode of transmission is similar to HIV. It is contracted through unprotected sex, shedding of needles and razors, and through unscreened blood transfusions from an infected mother to a newborn at birth. The Minister of Health, Dr. Rio de just says hepatitis B is a national health concern because it's a silent killer and it's widespread. Dr. Uchama says the need of awareness remains a priority at the time many people living with hepatitis B are facing discrimination. It does not spread through, you know, sweat or touching people or greeting or having, um, uh, sharing toilets or water or food. One of the ways of prevention is to go for tasting before the disease ravages the patient. You may not experience symptoms but you may develop liver problems. An overwhelming 70% of cases of liver cirrhosis and liver cancer in Uganda. And ultimately liver failure. The complications of hepatitis B occur in about 30% of those who have the chronic infection. The treatment is available, but there's no cure. And so this treatment uh, will have to go on usually for life actually. And so you, one really needs to be certain that the person really requires treatment. A charity walk organized by the National Organization of People Living with Hepatitis B and the Minister of Health was meant to raise awareness of this disease. We need money because 500 million shillings to strengthen the hepatitis B clinic in Arua Regional Faro Hospital. This money will help us buy the PCR machine for hepatitis B. Dr. Chris Bariomun, the State Minister for Health in charge of general duties, says health care workers face the highest risk of getting hepatitis B. Recently, the ministry passed a directive that each health worker gets vaccinated. Subsequently, they may transmit the infection to the patients whom they look after. The Minister of Health, Dr. Eliuda Trumwesi, just said the President recently instructed that regional referral hospitals should offer free tests and treatment to the public. The assessment for hepatitis B patients is still a problem you get. Costing between 300,000 to 500,000 Uganda shillings. And our people cannot afford. For those found negative, it requires that they are vaccinated. The Minister of Health has developed a comprehensive plan for the vaccination of all adolescents and adults against hepatitis B virus. Although, like I have said, we still have a challenge of resources, right now in the ministry, we are completing the preparation of the budget. We need about 30 million uh, US dollars to have all adults in Uganda immunized against Hepatitis B. Children younger than 13 have however been getting vaccinated since 2002. With the introduction of the pentavalent vaccine into the routine immunization schedule. Replicating the strategy to eliminate mother-to-child HIV transmission, the ministry wants to use this approach to fight hepatitis B, which is common amongst toddlers. Florence Alimba, NTV.